Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope that you're all coping well with the situation that's going on at the minute. I wanted to just pop on quickly to reshare something that I've already shared with you before, which are these sticker albums from Hobbycraft. Because I had a bit of an organise yesterday. It's technically the Easter holidays. I've still got a ton of schoolwork to do, but I needed just a couple of days to just get some projects of my own done, um, get some organisation done and just switch off for a couple of days then I will carry on with my schoolwork tomorrow. Um, these folders I bought for £1.15 in the Hobbycraft clearance weeks ago and I wasn't sure whether I was going to use them all, whether I was going to cut them open and steal the sequins but I have actually gone through and used them all. Now I shared this one with you although I've um, just moved the stickers around a little bit. These are This is my sticker collection and I'd put them all into this folder. I'll do a proper flip through in a minute and I have got a ton of stickers a ton of gems and all sorts just shoved in a drawer and it just wasn't very good you can't always see what you've got and then it was just an absolute nightmare because some of the packets were ripping open and then they were just falling off all over the place I'd constantly find little loose gems at the bottom of the of the tray so these are all of the packets I'm literally going to dump them out these are all of the packets of stickers and gems and um oh I don't know where's a got more thing um yeah foam stickers acrylic stickers different simply creative gems i have taken them all out of all of these packets i've got all these um wh smith's ones i've taken them out of all of the packets and i've put them into these folders and i'm going to do a little bit of a flick through i have four of them and i'll tell you how i've organized the folders there is still space in all of the folders as in there's wallets at the back but they are quite um quite full and the only ones that I haven't put in here are the really big embellished gems that I've got like these ones because they're only little small packets so these aren't going to be too bad just stay still staying in the the tray as they are and these ones so I'd already cut up a load of sheets of gems a while ago and cut them to the size that fit my bling books and this is how they've been packaged ever since so there's big ones small ones shaped ones mesh ones all sorts and i'm going to leave them like this because they're just very bulky to put into these folders as i say i've got four of these folders i've got two with stickers in and i have got two with gems in so i'm going to flick through the gems first so this one here is my main stash of gems and all of the folders are the same by the way they all just say keep calm and carry on sticking i just really like the the sequins on the front they had loads of different designs of these as i say they were in the hobbycraft clearance weeks ago i know hobbycraft is shut now i don't know if these are on their website but you can probably pick these up once the shops reopen um so in here i've got my favorite asda gems in the clear and the pink and then i've got them in the multicolored. they come in like a dark purple light purple and light blue they used to come with quite a lot of purple and then over the time they've brought the prices up and shrunk the size of the sheet which is a bit annoying but yeah so I've still got some of these left over from before and then a new packet there then I've got these ones I these think these ones were from home bargains they're like Easter colours then I've got some iridescent ones in the small which Kaj gave me recently and then this like mixed set that I've had for a while I've got these ones from Hobbycraft which have got all the different colours of glitters I've got them in the two sizes and then here, these are some of my favourite ones. So I've got these ones here, which I found randomly. I forgot I had these. I've got two clouds, a few hearts, and a load of enamel dots. And then these are the Paper Mania stars. So these are just the clear sheet. And then here, I've got the two different colours of stars. So you've got the pastels and the brights. And as you can see, I do use these a lot. These are my first packet of these. I've not used them up because I do hoard these, to be honest, quite a bit. Um, especially these ones. But yeah, so now I see them, I'll probably be more likely to use them. Then I've got the, you know, those ones that have got that kind of wheel effect to them. So I've got them in the dark and light plink, the light blue and the dark blue, the clear. Then I've got clear hearts and then this random blue sheet that I think came in a pocket letter once. So I've just shoved that in there. I've got light and dark red hearts. Then I've got these coloured ones. These are the creative gem ones and I've got them in the big size the medium size and then the small size so I've got all of those in here so these are pretty much just all my plain gems but the ones I kind of reach for the most especially if I'm repackaging something 
Then in the other gem book, because as I say, if I put them all in one, the folder itself would just be so fat. In here, I've got these ones are from the range. So we've got like hearts and circles and they came in four different colorways and I've obviously got one of each. I've got the red, the pink, the lilac and the blue. So I've got all of those ones. I hope you're seeing these well enough. I don't know whether I should have zoomed in a little bit. Maybe I'll come in a little bit for you. Um, so I've got those. Then I've got these hearts from the works. Now I had two packets of these. This is a whole packet that I've just cut down and put into the wallet. And then this is what's left of the first packet. Um, I've used quite a lot of them up. And I've just put what's left in here. So I want to use these ones up before I move on to these ones. You can see there's a lot of the gold ones left on here. I use that colour up quite a lot here. Then I've got these um, glittery hearts that we bought in the range recently. Matt found those. Then I bought these in the range recently. Probably my last range haul. And it's got these like enamel roses and then some little crystals on there. And I've got the red, the blue, the green. There was a brown. I didn't pick it up when I was in there. Then I've got these ones here. These were from a Forever Friends set, I think. And I've got two sheets of these. I can't remember if they came with two sheets or whether I bought two sets. I'm not sure. But I've only used a few of these up. And then I've got these are from Hobbycraft. These were my favourite. I must have bought like six packets of these at the time. And you can see I've got two kind of full ones left and a random little bit left. Um, but what I like about having these in these folders is I'm more inclined to actually use them up. Um, these ones here again they were from Hobbycraft I don't think they were from a special brand I've just shoved them in here and then I've got some enamel dots but I've also got some that were still in the packets that I've left in the packets because these ones would be good for happy mail most of the other ones that were in packets I've taken out because they're for me but these are duplicate ones so I've left these in the packet in case I did want to gift them because if I don't use these then there's no point in me having these ones as well so this is the North Pole ones from the works these are the Dovecraft um, very basic glittery enamel dots and then this is the what is it the winter woodland one which you can see i have actually used quite a lot of that one up so if i do use these and want these then obviously i've got them and if not i can gift them so they were the two folders of stickers um of gems sorry and then the two folders of stickers i've kind of split them up so these are kind of the, the stickers that i would use a lot and the ones that are a bit plainer so if i was doing say a scrapbook for example so i've got these holographic hearts and butterflies from wh smiths and there's two packets of each of those i have used quite a lot of the hearts on this one then i've got the some more butterflies and some ladybirds from wh smiths as well this bit's cut off because that bit went into one of my bling books then i've got some smiley faces which i debated whether to put with my school supplies but I just quite like these so I wasn't ready to get rid of them yet and I've got some strawberries and some more happy faces these came from Lisa who's potty fighter she sent them to me in a happy mail I've got some hearts that are left over from Smith's which I'm trying to aim to use these up because I've had them for so long and I did use quite a few of these on those loaded envelopes at Valentine's Day I've got some foam silver stickers here and then I've got some gold ones that I've had to cut into three strips to fit them into the folder I've got these sun cloud rainbow ones which I thought would be really nice if there was like a picture of Matt and I at the park for example and it had been a really nice sunny day could put the little sunshine at the top things like that I've got these ones here it's got butterflies it's got lots of flowers some little birds I said butterflies I meant bumblebees um and there's some little bits left over because I had a few sheets of this and these are kind of the random bits that are left over then I've got these really fun little donuts again not really i mean i'm an adult but i just couldn't part with these i just really like some of these ones like with the tie and the little birthday donut i thought it's like coming up to our birthdays i could scrapbook a picture of us on birthdays and then stick these little birthday donuts for example love these little cactus or cacti i should say so didn't want to get rid of these so kept them in here Then i've got some like summer themed ones some sweet treats some more sweet treats some cakes and then these are just randomly left over um, from a Poundland set I think I'm not sure that I would use these but I've put them in for now same with these pocket letters um, pocket watch stickers I gave one of these away I think in the Alice in Wonderland thing that I made for Sam who is the Scottish crafter and um, I've got a few left so I just popped them in here and then I've got two Hobbycraft sticker books I've got the Through Sunshine and Rain one and the Love Hearts one and as you can see they fit perfectly in these folders they're a bit too short um, but I think that's what these folders were designed for for um, the hovercraft stickers so yeah 
So I've got that one. And then this one's kind of my more fun sticker book. This one here has got all those like silly ones that I could take to school, but I'm keeping here for now. There's tons at school. Like I've got a whole bunch of stickers at school. If I then run out of those, then obviously I'll delve into these. So I've got these really fun dinosaurs and some woodland creatures, some owls. There were some zoo animals, I think. There's only the panda left. But some of them have got googly eyes and some of them have just got big puffy eyes. I've got the same stickers in the dogs and the cats. They were all from Hobbycraft, by the way. These are from Smith's. They've got some little holographic dogs and some holographic cats. And then there's the holographic bees. Um, this was also from Smith's. They're like clear and coloured little fish stickers some of them have got googly eyes then I've got these ones were from Clinton's so there's just some really random animals and things I've got quite a lot of these at school I bought loads of packets that were like something like 37p or something in the sale it was ridiculous um these ones oh where were these ones from I feel like they were from Clinton's as well it's got some different um like zoo animals and I do love going to the zoo so I thought I could use them for that then I've got two packets of this one here. It's got all seals and penguins and things. Um, I've used some from this sheet, but not any from this sheet. And I've got some Smith's cats, some paper chase um, aliens, some dinosaurs from Smith's, some elephants from Smith's. Don't worry, it's Smith's. I have to say, it's quite good for stickers. Um, that's where I got these from as well, the owls and the woodland creatures. Um, these are from Hobbycraft, these owls, as are these. I've got a few of these left. Then I've got from Hobbycraft the birds and flowers and the bumblebees and ladybirds. Got some um, ocean stickers from Hobbycraft. These ones are from Paper Chase. There's some different unicorn ones. I bought two packets of each of these and one packet at school, one packet here. So you've got these different unicorn ones here as is this one. You can see I've used a few up and I think I used them on a pocket letter if I remember rightly. I've got one sheet of these panda stickers left. I bought tons of these when they're on sale and the unicorn ones. Pretty much all of them are at school. I've been handing them out to the children for like homework stickers and stuff. They really like these stickers. Um, I just kept one set of them because I just... They're similar to the glasses I wear and I've got a friend that really loves pandas so I thought well I'll keep hold of them just in case I want to use them. Then I've got some more from Smith's here. These like furry like woodland animals. These ones I can't remember where they were from. I think it was the range. It was a really long sheet of stickers. Then I've got these little tiny ones here. Some little animals. Some little robots. And then I've got some from... Um, uh, what's it called? Wilco and Smith's here. Which are those like big plastic ones you know the ones that are like really dimensional because I saw a video ages ago where somebody sliced these open and added sequins to them and added them to pocket letters and it looked really cool and I bought tons of these stickers and then just not, never got around to doing it so there's a ocean one a princess one a transport one another like princessy type one and then like an animals one I have extras of these because as I say I bought loads from Wilco and from W. H. Smith's when I first saw that video but I've got a lot of these at school so I've just put one of each in here and if I do use them then I will get some more from school like when we open again so yeah a bit of a random video I just wanted to share with you kind of my little sequin and gem collection and kind of how I'm storing it and I'm hoping this will be a better system than having literally just tons and tons of these little packets and having to rifle through them all the time to find the ones that you want I just thought it would be better in these folders so thank you for joining me today and I hope you're all doing well see you soon see you again soon bye bye